Good morning everyone. Today we'll be trying the Ordinary Foundations. I just got them in the mail yesterday and I kind of played around with them but not really. So this is still a first impressions. When I got them, it was already really dark outside so if I tried it on and filmed the video then you wouldn't be able to see what it looks like in natural lighting so that's what I'll be doing today. These are probably like the most popular foundations in makeup history because they just keep selling out so fast. They're seven dollars, they're raved about everywhere, they're really high quality. Honestly, I just see everyone talk about them on Instagram everywhere and they were out of stock for two, three months so I was just stalking their Instagram page every single day waiting for them to be in stock again in my shade. I'm still in disbelief that I have them now because I've wanted them for so long. I got the coverage foundation in the shade 2.0 so they have two foundations one is the serum foundation and one is the coverage foundation and the coverage one obviously has more coverage I got the coverage foundation in the shade 2.0 and I got the serum foundation in the shade 1.2 because I wasn't sure which one would match me and both of them ended up being a little bit light on me the 2.0 is pretty close but it's still like kind of light and yesterday I kind of played around with this one and I was mm. they have a pretty wide shade range if you want to know what shade you are Wayne Goss who's a youtuber that you probably already know I think he made a list of the corresponding MAC shades for the colors foundation so I'll put that in the description as well but I did not come up with it he came up with it for reference I'm about like an NC 20 to 25 sometimes 30 if I'm really tan but okay so right now I do have sunscreen on my face I also did my brows kind of so I'm gonna start with the coverage foundation because I'm more excited about this one this is the consistency I'm just going to it all over my face I hope this isn't too much it doesn't smell like it has any fragrance on the ordinary website they call this a lightweight cream foundation which sounds like it's right up my alley because I really like cream foundations but I don't like how it gets really heavy and oily especially during summers I'm gonna do a little bit more over here because I have this little pimple this is a really close shade match because on both sides like obviously this side is more red but like my skin tone is this shade I'm so lucky I got the right shade so that's this side done now I'm gonna do the serum foundation which is one shade lighter so if it looks different that's why so far I think this side looks so good this side is supposed to be only one shade lighter but it looks so much lighter like it looks almost white but we'll still blend it I'm using the other side of the blender so that you know it doesn't carry over the serum foundation definitely feels a lot more liquidy like it has a lot more slip okay so i just finished both sides of my face i don't think i added too too much so i'm gonna zoom you in i'm looking in the mirror right now but oh my god it looks like skin like you can s still see that glow it has pretty good coverage i think it has medium coverage they said it's billable i think i will try to do another layer and of course i haven't put on concealer or anything so like you know redness dark circles all that is still showing through but it evened out my skin tone so well covered most of the acne scars hyperpigmentation it doesn't it's not creasing around my nose which is so crazy because usually i have to use like a concealer brush to like really blend out that area it doesn't feel heavy at all like this doesn't feel like any cream foundations i've tried it blends like a dream it blends so well i just i can't believe this foundation is seven dollars like i really i really can't believe it this is this is changing the game i can't believe it i'm gonna apply another layer of the coverage foundation just to see if it still looks natural or if it alters anything i'm gonna try to focus on this area to cover like i'm adding a lot more now and i'm blending it and it still doesn't look cakey it still looks like skin and i just I don't even know how foundations do that like you see this iconic it doesn't feel like a high coverage foundation by the way because it's not thick or cakey it feels like a really light foundation but it gives you the coverage of a high coverage foundation it's hard to describe i'm not wearing any other foundation forever i feel like it makes like your cheeks glowy but like the side of your nose is still matte i don't know how it does that this would work for basically every single skin type so i do like the coverage side better i think this side would be really good for people who like are models and have really good skin to begin with you can build it up of course but because it's so liquidy i think that it might increase your chances of creasing and slipping and all that stuff so if you're a person who like super light coverage really light coverage like if you like glossy skin tint i think the serum foundation is definitely 
the one that you would like better but if you want medium to full coverage this is such a natural option you don't see a lot of natural looking full coverage foundations and this is one of them and it's so affordable i think the serum foundation looks really good it looks like skin it evens out my skin really well it doesn't have any texture or crease you really can't tell that i put on anything so i'm gonna apply the coverage foundation on this side of my face so i don't look uneven and then i'm gonna set the makeup you know finish the rest of my face and then we'll see how the foundation looks underneath all of that. Okay, so I just finished the rest of my makeup. I didn't put a lot on, but I did set my face with a powder. I set it with the Glossier Wilder, which if you want to see my first impressions on that, there is a video. And I'm going to zoom you in. I am so in love with this foundation. It still looks glowy and it still looks like skin it doesn't look too matte or too glowy it doesn't look oily this area i just don't know how it controls oil in some areas and then makes the rest of her face look glowy like unless it has a very short lasting power this is definitely my all-time favorite foundation like hands down this is what it looks like in just natural lighting you see this? All I did was powder and put blush on, that's it. So far out of the two, I definitely like the coverage foundation more. If you come across this foundation in real life, online, anywhere, as soon as it's in stock, please get it. It's only $7, so it's not like you have much to lose anyway. But the quality of it is so much better than any high-end foundation I've ever tried. It's better than NARS, it's better than Makeup Forever, it gives you more coverage. It looks so natural, it's just everything I want in a foundation. Do you like my foundation? Yes. Did you use two different ones? I think it looks really nice. Yeah. Better than yesterday. What's that supposed to mean? It's seven dollars. Can you believe it? I already got a new one. <laughs> I ordered it last night. <laughs> So that's it. This video got longer than I thought it was gonna be. Why are you always trying to squeeze pudding into my videos? Because that's what the people want to see. She diarrheaed last night. <laughs> okay, people don't need to know that. Thank you so much for watching. Please get this foundation. I'm not sponsored or affiliated, but you need to get yourself this foundation. I have nothing to gain. It's so good. Get it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.